Are you eating eggs for breakfast, thinking you're doing your body a favor, but still feeling weak, tired, or losing muscle strength after 60? Eggs are considered one of the most complete sources of protein, loaded with amino acids like leucine that help maintain muscle tissue. But what if I told you that pairing eggs with the wrong vegetables, vegetables you've been told are healthy, could actually be weakening your muscles, blocking nutrient absorption, and even accelerating muscle loss as you age? This isn't about fear, it's about precision, because after 60, your body doesn't digest, absorb, or utilize nutrients the same way it used to. Your stomach acid is lower. Your pancreas might not be producing enough enzymes and your muscles are more insulin resistant, meaning they don't respond to protein as efficiently. So, what you combine with your eggs matters not just for digestion, but for muscle preservation, mitochondrial health, and even energy production. Here sits what sits really going on inside your why nutrient absorption declines after 60 body. When you eat eggs, your body begins breaking them down in the stomach. But if you combine those eggs with certain vegetables high in oxalates, lectins, or enzyme inhibitors, you're throwing a wrench in the entire system. These compounds can bind to essential minerals like calcium, zinc, and magnesium. All crucial for muscle contractions, nerve signaling, and recovery and block their absorption. Even worse, some of these vegetables actually interfere with the activation of muscle building pathways like M2R the very mechanism that tells your body, yes, we have enough amino acids, let sets build muscle. So even if you're eating eggs for protein, which is great if you're combining them with these three vegetables, your muscles may never get the signal to grow or repair. What the research shows is this age-related muscle loss called sarcopenia isn't just about eating less protein. It's about impaired absorption, poor food combinations, chronic inflammation, and nutrient blocking, in this video, I'll hidden antinutrients in veggies explained walk you through. That's the metabolic trap many people fall into after 60. You think you're doing everything right, eating your eggs, avoiding junk food, but subtle daily combinations can quietly sabotage your strength and energy. The three vegetables that should never be combined with eggs after 60. And if this is helpful so far, consider subscribing. I post content like this every day to help you protect your muscles, boost energy naturally, and stay sharp long into your 70s and beyond, and what to eat instead. Simple swaps and protocols to protect your strength, absorb nutrients better and feel more energized throughout the day, the exact physiological reasons why these combinations harm muscle health, let's break this down step by step. Starting with the first mistake people make at breakfast without even realizing it, let's start with a simple question, what's the first vegetable that comes to mind when you think of healthy, spinach, kale, maybe bell peppers? Here sits what sits really going on inside your body, now here's the twist. While these vegetables are nutrient dense, they also contain something called antine, nutrients, vegetable hash one, Spinach and oxalate overload natural plant compounds that protect the plant, but can quietly sabotage your nutrient absorption when combined with high-protein foods like egg. When you eat eggs, your body begins breaking down the proteins into amino acids. These amino acids, especially leucine, are essential for triggering a muscle-building signal in your cells called MTR, short for mechanistic target of RepMe. This is the primary growth switch that says we have the resources build and repair muscle. Now, but here sits where the problem begins. Certain vegetables contain compounds like oxalates found in spinach, beets, and Swiss chard. Lectins, especially in bell peppers, tomatoes, and eggplant. Protease inhibitors in raw kale, broccoli sprouts, and Brussels sprouts. These compounds bind with minerals like calcium, magnesium, and iron. Minerals your muscles absolutely need for contraction, nerve signaling, and recovery. Worse, oxalates can form insoluble crystals in your gut, blocking absorption of the very nutrients your eggs are trying to deliver. Let me explain this with a simple analogy. One study published in the Journal of Nutrition showed that diets high in oxalates significantly reduced calcium and magnesium absorption even when those minerals were present in abundance. That means it's not about how much you eat, it's about how much your body can use. Vegetable hash 2 
Bell peppers and lectin load imagine your breakfast plate as a construction site. The eggs bring in bricks and workers, the raw materials to build muscle. But if you throw a handful of oxalate and lectin rich vegetables into the mix, it's like dumping glue and gravel onto the blueprints. Everything gets stuck, the workers can't move, and the building, your muscle never gets built. Now if you're under 40, your gut might compensate. Your stomach acid is strong. Enzyme activity is robust, and nutrient reserves are high. But after 60, digestion slows, enzymes drop, gut permeability increases, which means these food interactions become even more critical. And here sits the kicker. Many people are already low in magnesium and calcium, not just from diet, but because of stress, medications, and poor sleep. Adding in these anti-nutrient-rich vegetables at breakfast quietly compounds the problem, leading to symptoms like muscle cramps or twitching, fatigue after meals, poor recovery after walking or climbing stairs, numbness in the legs or feet. If you've been noticing these, your morning vegetable choices could be a hidden trigger. First, avoid raw spinach, beet greens and bell peppers with your eggs, especially if you're over 60. So, what sits the solution? If you love leafy greens, lightly steam or saute them first. This reduces oxalates and lectins by 30 to 50 percent. Pair eggs with low anti-nutrient vegetables like zucchini, asparagus or cooked mushrooms. These support digestion without blocking mineral absorption. And consider adding vegetable hash 3, kale and gut disruption, a squeeze of lemon or apple cider vinegar. This helps improve stomach acidity, which enhances mineral uptake. If this is helpful so far, take a second to like the video and subscribe. It really helps me get this science-based content to more people who need it. Now we'll look at how these combinations can actually block the very pathway that builds muscle, even if you're eating plenty of protein. Let's say you've made the effort to eat high-quality protein. You crack open two pasture, raised eggs, maybe even add some salmon or avocado on the side. You're doing everything right, right? But here sits what most people done sit realize, especially after 60. It's not just about how much protein you eat. It's about whether your body actually gets the signal to use it. That signal is called mTOR, the master switch for muscle growth and repair. And after age 60, that switch becomes much harder to flip. Here is what sips really going on inside your body. When you eat eggs, the amino acid leucine rises in your blood. Leucine is the trigger that activates M2R but M2R is picky. It needs just the right environment to function. Enough available amino acids, adequate intracellular energy at. Now the MTOR pathway, why it matters for muscle growth certain vegetables, especially when raw or undercooked, contain mTOR suppressors. These include saponins found in raw legumes, beans, and even nightshades like peppers, and minimal cellular stress or inflammation. Glucosinolates in raw cruciferous vegetables like kale and Brussels sprout. Phytates present in unsoaked grains and some veggies. These compounds raise mild cellular stress which signals the body to deprioritize muscle growth and shift into conservation mode. Your body interprets these compounds especially in a low digestive environment as a challenge to its survival. The result, meta-activity drops and muscle protein synthesis gets delayed or shut down. Imagine you're trying to turn on a garden sprinkler to water your lawn, your muscles. You connect the hose amino acids from your eggs. But if there's a knot in the hose created by these vegetable compounds, the water barely trickles out. Your lawn stays dry even though the faucet is running. And after 60, your sprinkler system is already a bit rusty. It takes more effort to get the same results, meaning every little interference matters more. Let me give you a simple analogy. One recent study in aging research reviews showed that older better combos, what to eat with eggs adults require nearly double the leucine threshold to activate M2R compared to younger individuals. But if you're blocking that signal with phytates, glucosinolates and saponines, you'll never hit that threshold even with extra protein. Here ests where it gets especially important for women postmenopause and men over 65, your anabolic resistance is increasing, meaning your muscle cells are less responsive to the same signals. That's why combining eggs with inflammatory or blocking vegetables in the same meal is a silent muscle killer. If you love those vegetables, eat them at another meal. 
ideally cooked and paired with healthy fats to buffer their effect. So what can you do? Avoid pairing eggs with raw kale, Brussels sprouts, or bell peppers. These contain compounds that impair MERS signaling. Add a high leucine food with your eggs like cottage cheese, turkey slices, or a collagen peptide to help push your mTOR switch past the activation point. And finally, eat your protein earlier in the day when cortisol is higher because your body's anabolic response is more efficient in the morning. This is the difference between simply eating eggs and actually using those eggs to rebuild strength, fight sarcopenia, and protect your independence as you age. You could be final tips to maximize muscle health eating the highest quality eggs, organic, pasture, raised, loaded with protein. Now, we'll look at how your gut changes after 60 and why digestion becomes a bigger bottleneck for nutrient absorption and muscle support. But if your gut isn't functioning properly, those nutrients may never make it to your muscles. After age 60, digestion changes dramatically, and it's one of the most overlooked reasons people lose muscle even with a healthy diet. Your stomach acid, hydrochloric acid, HCL, plays a vital role in digestion. It breaks down proteins, triggers enzyme release, and sterilizes your gut from harmful bacteria. But studies show that after age 60, many people produce 30 to 50 percent less stomach acid than they did in midlife. Here's what that's really going on inside your body. Now add in fiber-rich vegetables like raw kale, spinach, or bell peppers, and you sift got a recipe for gas discomfort and mineral binding. These vegetables summary and what to avoid require strong enzyatic activity and acid to break down their plant cell walls. Without that, they can ferment and produce bloating or reflux. That might not sound like a big deal, but low acid means poorly digested food, bloating, and worst of all, undigested proteins fermenting in the gut rather than being absorbed, bind to nutrients in the food like iron or B12. Let me give you an analogy.